goes false. And he was trusting from the day one. He killed Courtney and Frankie, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to bury this guy. Okay, you know, we don't have enough evidence. Okay, your job is not done. All right, we need more information. I'm there. Whatever it takes, I'm there. residents have come together tonight in anger and sorrow. The stalker has claimed the lives of four women. Will he be caught before he kills again? Frankie has a lot of friends here. It's nice they could all come together like this. Why don't I take you home now? Not yet. I want to thank everybody, you know, for Frankie. Yes, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Everybody? Frankie's husband, Cass Winthrop, wants to say something to all of us. I, uh, just want to thank everybody on behalf of my, my little girl, Charlie, and on behalf of... My brother Morgan, who has suffered his own tragic loss. And most of all, on behalf of my wife, Frankie. Because she would have been... She would have been very... She would have been... So... Let me take you home, honey. Come on. No, no, I have to do this. Yes. I'm right here. You don't have to say anything. I want to say something. Okay. Don't listen to me, okay? Okay. Uh, my wife was very good at picking up on thoughts and feelings. Especially feelings. She's here with us now. Feeling all of this love. These waves of love and compassion that are filling the street tonight. But there's something that she wants me to tell you. I know that the Herald has blasted the police department about not finding the killer yet. But Frankie was working with Gabe McNamara on this case, and she believed in him and his officers. I want you to... Uh, honor her memory by giving them your full support. I'm grateful to them. And I know that Frankie is sending all kinds of good energy. And if we all do that together, this killer will be stopped. You will never know how much this means to me, what you're doing here tonight. Thank you very much. It's very difficult to um, be objective when the person killed is 
the person you love. Um, my brother's right. The police department's been working around the clock on this project. And it's real important that we give them all the support we can. I want to say thank you very much for coming out tonight. This has been wonderful. We gotta stay together. We have to stay close. So please be careful getting on. Look, there's something I have to take care of. Can you get him home? Yes, okay. of course I can. Just tell John that I'm going with Cass for as long as he needs me, right. okay? I love you. Come on. Go home. Jake, I read this. What the hell are you trying to do? <clears throat> what, are you, what are you trying to do? Look, he's just trying to uh, get the facts out, maybe light a fire underneath McNamara, that's all. I mean, Matthew, what, what no, are you... Look, Vic, you don't have to defend me. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just doing my job. I just hope you don't end up regretting this. Matt. Well, you know, I, I hate it when he acts holier than thou like that. Well, what is that all about? You gonna be okay here by yourself a little while? Yeah, sure, I'm fine. Why? What's wrong? Nah, just something I gotta take care of. Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm kind of glad I ran into you. So he's been leaving a message on one of those damn machines. Why, is something wrong? No, well, I hope not. Um, listen, I'm, my schedule is really tight with the trauma center opening, and, and I was wondering if it was okay if I didn't show up to work at your house tomorrow morning. Oh, sure, sure, it's fine. Whatever, whenever you get there is fine. So did you know these ladies? picture of Frankie in your purse? I never knew you guys were that close. We were starting to be. I took it. When I was moving out, I, I saw it lying on the dining room table, and I just I felt like I should have it. I was going to ask Frankie if it Thank was you. okay. It's okay. I, mean, I think it's nice that you brought that picture out with the rest of them. You see, I'm not a totally awful person. I never said you were. So Dr. Newman lied about treating Blair Baker. That's not exactly solid evidence. We're going to have to do better than that. What about your witness, Ozzy? Well, I wouldn't exactly call him a witness, at least not of the killer. He saw his shoes, sir. Yeah, but he did hear his voice. That's good, Watts. Maybe all the TLC you lavished on that witness will finally pay off, considering it almost cost you both your careers. Well, listen, sir, I think it might pay off. I mean, if Ozzy recognizes Fax's voice, Dr. Winthrop, just how involved are you willing to be in this case? Nick. Hi. Uh, look, um, well, we were going to go over to Cassis, but I, I decided against it. I've got a lot of planning to do for the trauma center opening right. tomorrow. Do you think it'd be okay if, if I went over? I mean, Frankie was really decent to me when I first got to town, and Cass, you know, I used to buy you, Donna. I know I'm not family, but... No, 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 I think it's a great idea. I am, I'm real proud of you. Good. You'd appreciate that. All right. We'll see you. Okay. So, uh, what? You want me to drop you off at the apartment? No, no, I'm coming with you. You know, I used to live in that house, and I still feel like it's my home. And also, I need to be near Cass and Charlie now. 